Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu, and I'm with Aaron Youngren of the Youngrens in, from San Diego. They're photographers, they're wedding photographers, but they also own a commercial studio space called Bauman Photographers, and they're doing some amazing things. Now, Aaron's no no stranger to Tiffin Box. She's been on Tiffin Box before, thank, and, and I want to thank you for coming back here. Uh, but she's also going to be speaking at inspire photo retreats now this is a wonderful conference that's taking place in february i'm a big part of it and i love to tell people about it uh because the community is huge uh the photographers who come there really come and chill out they talk shop of course we all we all do that right uh but it's also a place to re-energize yourself and get ready for the new year so erin thanks for joining me today thank you for having me it's good to be back as you can tell, I am super pumped up about Inspire, and I know you guys are coming there for the first time. Uh, you're speaking there for the first time and presenting to everybody there. What is your topic going to be about? Let's just jump yeah. right into it. I am so excited. This is our first time, at, like you said, to Inspire, and we've heard so much about it over the years, about the community in particular, that the people that come are just these really, really wonderful people. They're all um, for each other, and they're all about helping the community of photographers. So... I'm really excited about my topic. Um, I'm going to be talking about how to discover your dream clients. And what I'm mostly excited about with Inspire is that normally when I get to speak on this topic, I get to do, you know, a one hour presentation, two hour presentation. And there's so much that goes into discovering who your dream clients are that it's so hard to cover in two hours, right? Mm -hmm. So they're actually having me do a full afternoon, four hour workshop on it. And so I get to sit down with a number of the attendees and we get to put pen to paper and they actually get to go through the process of discovering their dream clients. And it's a long process. And so when they walk away from it, they are going to have a profile of who their dream clients are. And this profile will tell them everything that they need to know about their dream clients, their values, their habits, their um, desires, you know, and all that kind of stuff that's going to inform everything they, d they do in their business in 2016. So I'm really, really excited. This is very powerful stuff. <laughs> I mean, I just read your blog post about this very topic. And I know uh, you, you break it down very succinctly mm -hmm. in your blog post. But having you there and be able to walk people through this process for four hours? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, uh, that's it's from, amazing. That Now, I have to ask you this. Is this really geared only to wedding photographers or can portrait photographers also jump in and learn something from you? Oh, it's definitely geared towards all kinds of photographers. In fact, I've had a lot of wedding professionals, um, coordinators, DJs, florists, a lot of small business creative entrepreneurs can really benefit from this course because it's geared toward discovering who your dream clients are. So if you are a creative entrepreneur that works closely with your clients in a creative Endeavor. So if you're building something creative with them, a graphic designer, a, um, an invitation or stationary designer, you know, this is very applicable because you are working so closely with your clients. And that client artist relationship has a huge impact on your business and on your art and, as a, and on your fulfillment as a creative entrepreneur. So it's a very, um, it's a topic that can apply to a lot of different creative entrepreneurs. So I'm, that's why I'm so excited about it. This isn't the only conference you speak at or you're going to be speaking at, I imagine. Um, what what draws you to Inspire? I mean, you're coming, you're coming from a very warm San Diego and you're going to be coming to Newport, Rhode Island, which is a beautiful, beautiful town um, in February. Uh, in New England in February, <laughs> hmm, it's kind of a, kind of, could be a diner. Uh, but yeah. the weather aside... The conference itself is, as I've, we've already talked about, is such a wonderful space for people to just chill out. But what is it that you and Jeff are looking forward to the most, I guess, from the conference? I am looking forward to getting to know this amazing community of people that I've heard so much about over the years. And I, I'm the kind of person that I really love small community. Mm -hmm. And I love conferences that have that small community feel to them. And what, I, what I've heard about Inspire is that there's just a lot of people that come back year after year after year because of the strength in that community and the bonds that they've been able to create. So that really, that really inspires me and that really draws me to 
um, to this conference and to this retreat. So I'm really excited about getting to know the people in the community, getting to hear their stories, um, learning more about them. And I think that that's worth it. I think it's worth the trip from the West Coast all the way <laughs> to uh, New England in February. So we'll have to dig up some sort of big coat. I don't know. Go shopping. There you <laughs> go. An excuse socks. for shopping. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the things that we've already talked about is that you are both speakers at conferences. Uh, where else are you going to be speaking in 2016? Would you be able to share that with us at this time? Sure. Um, I'm also going to be at WPPI this year, which will be really fun. I have um, a platform presentation on Monday, which will be really, really great. And I'm going to be talking on a similar topic, the secrets to booking your dream clients. So it's going to be a really, really awesome presentation. I'm really excited about it. Um, you'll also see me on a few places, show it live and a couple other different conferences throughout the year that I'm really excited about. And also, you know, just at our blog, I've been doing a lot of writing this season. Um, when weddings slowed down, I've been able to just sit down and get so much out of my head and onto paper. So that's been really, really awesome. So if you read our blog and sign up for a newsletter, you'll get a lot of really great content there just on a regular basis. Every week I send something out and, um, that's a really wonderful place to hear more about our story, what it is we do in our businesses, um, how we run the Young Grins as well as this commercial studio that's so much fun, but so much work and there's so much that goes into it. So if you're looking to really up your game in 2016, you know, connect with us, theyounggrins.com slash photographers and sign up for our newsletter. That'll be the best place to go. I've got to tell you, folks, Erin uh, is an amazing writer. Um, oh, thank you. I, you are. You're you know, every single post evokes not just emotion, but also useful information that you can go out and execute. I mean, that's the thing is that she almost, uh, it's almost a template for other photographers to emulate in a way, you know? You're like, yeah, this is it. This is how we are going to be doing mm -hmm. things for our business and it's successful. And we can take that information and not just copy it, but really mold it to our own businesses. I think that's where I think that strength comes in. Um, I can't wait for your presentation because finding your target audience, target client is such a big deal. You know, finding your perfect clients means you're going to have the perfect season, perfect year, in fact, right? Uh, a successful year is always a good thing. Um, and you start by really serving the right people from the, from the get-go. Um, so for that, I want to thank you as well. Uh, look forward to seeing you at Inspire and the Inspire Photo Retreats uh, is start, is on February 8th through the 10th. You can come early yes. and leave late. I, I've always done that, and it's always fun. Um, it's in Newport, Rhode Island. It's a beautiful town, wonderful, just an amazing hotel to stay at. And we have folks like Aaron Youngren coming to join us. So uh, you can't go wrong, really. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah. And there, there is one thing I want to say about, you know, finding your dream clients this year. I think, you know, so I'm crazy. And yesterday I actually did a mileage run for on Delta to get my next status. So all day yesterday I was actually flying and I flew all the way to LaGuardia and back in one day. And um, I, <laughs> I was on I've the never plane. Heard, I have never heard of that before. What is it? Uh, it's a thing. It's a thing. I, at the end of the year, I had to get some different miles for, um, for my status for this next year because Jeff and I, we travel a lot. And so it, it helps us out a lot um, to have the right status on Delta. But we, I'm, I'm on the airplane and I'm writing and I'm brainstorming and I'm doing all this crazy stuff for 2016, which I'm really excited about. And, you know, there was a point where I was walking through the airport and I thought, you know what? I, I'm an artist and there's so many times when I feel like I'm walking around and I'm in these crowds of people and that I am completely invisible. And one of my biggest fears as an artist is that I'm going to be forgotten or that I'm not going to be noticed or that my art is not going to be important. And that to me, it, it hits me deep. You know, I want my work to matter. I want to create important work. And I sat there and I thought about it and I said, why, why do I feel invisible sometimes? And when do I not feel invisible? When do I feel noticed? And I said, you know what? It's my dream clients that make me feel like I matter because they appreciate what I do and they love my work. And I've become so close with so many of them because they love me as an artist. And so I was thinking about that yesterday and thought, I just can't wait to meet all these people throughout this next year at Inspire and help them discover these dream clients so that they can, they can have people that appreciate their work and they can feel like they are known, 
like they're important and that they're creating something that matters really, uh, that matters a lot to somebody. So that was a thought I had yesterday. And so I'm just so, so excited to see everybody at Inspire. Fantastic. With that, thank you again for joining us today, Aaron. I really appreciate your time. I'm so glad we were able to make this happen. Um, it's been a busy end of the year, as you've said before we started recording, and that's fantastic. I want everyone to have a busy, busy whole year, really. I yes. don't want it to be just yes. about the season, the <laughs> holiday season. So, but, so thanks a lot for having uh, made the time to, to come and join us here. Thank you. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. It's always so much fun. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.